Okay, here I am again with part four of my tarot collection, or four as the Americans would say. <laughs> Germany is four. Um, okay, I had to take another sip of tea and now I can go on rambling about tarot. Okay, this is another deck that I got quite recently. It's the Guardian Tarot. I waited for it for quite a bit. Um, so I pre-ordered it a while ago. Um, I actually really, really like this deck. Although I have to say I haven't worked with it enough to really, really like this deck. But just my initial reaction was that I like this deck. Um, I etched it in a kind of purpley silver. You can see because I think it goes very, very well with the cards. Um, I know people say this is a creepy deck. I, for whatever reason, don't feel like that at all. And I think it might be because I don't see these figures as a human or human-like. To me, they're so much, I don't know, they have such a spiritual um, vibe to them. So they were just spirits. They are tree spirits and they don't need eyes. And um, all the other, like if there's anything other than that, like for example, the horse, it has eyes. So it's just the spirits that don't have them and they don't need them. I, I feel like it's just and it has a very, this deck has a very interesting vibe in general. And there's a lot of um, like straying from or um, simply, um, yeah, going astray from, from the standard Rider Waite Smith here. So I think I will have to work with it a bit more to actually um, get to the whole potential of this deck. It has a very spiritual feel, a very airy vibe i thought it would be a lot more earthy because of all the trees um but to me it's very up there in the spiritual realm um and again i think there is so much um potential in this deck and i haven't yet i have yet to figure out whether or not it um kind of lives up to that expectation um I haven't really worked with it yet because, again, I got it at the end of... Oh, I love this one. I know this is the image from the box, but I love it. Um, I have it at, I've it. gotten it at the end of last year, and you know that I didn't work with a lot of decks in 2017, so um, I haven't really worked with that one either. Just did one reading, which was beautiful. Um, so I think... I feel like this deck has a lot of potential. We will see whether or not it will live up to that. We'll see. I love the box. Again, at least if I could fit the deck in there, come on, <laughs> wriggle it in. Um, next one, another one that I love, and another one, another one that I actually have worked with. <laughs> Yoo -hoo! Um, this is the Taramuha. Um, it's beautiful. I edged it golden. Um, it's a gorgeous deck. It's very easy to read. Um, it's very neutral in tone. It's it's just lovely. I think it would be a deck that I would love like to, to use for, I don't know, relationship related <laughs> readings or something like that because it's just so beautiful to look at and it has this romantic quality. Um, so it's just stunning. I love the art in it. I love, I love everything. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, there's not much more to say about because it doesn't have like an outstandingly unique voice to me. Um, but again, it reads, it has, it's, it's easy to read. It's easy to look at. It's beautiful. So what's not to love about this deck actually. Then we go to, or we come to this one. Um, I got this box for Christmas. Isn't it beautiful? And it came like there were soap, more soap in it. So, um. I then um, decided to use it for tarot decks immediately, so I had to find a deck to put in there, and I thought this one would be the right one. I have to find something to put here to kind of make the space a bit smaller. This is the um, Golden Botticelli. I edged it. I Again, I don't really know why it didn't come like that. Why? Why? Tell me. <laughs> Um, I think it's probably still in order because I actually haven't worked with it. I just edged it <laughs> because I got it like, I don't know, two weeks ago or something. Just, it's, it, I got it not too far ago. So um, I haven't really worked with it. I love the golden details in it. I love that it's so sparkly. Um, 
it's beautiful it's beautiful art as you can tell i mean i am i said um in one of the previous videos how much i was drawn to the um byzantine tarot yeah i mean no wonder that i love the golden botticelli as well right <laughs> it's very similar in art style um i just love it it's so beautiful gorgeous 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 deck and again look at all this shimmer and gold so beautiful oh i didn't even mention this box actually it's a music box can i just freak out for a second just I, i'm not don't worry i'm not like pulling it too far just a little bit a tiny bit <laughs> i just love it ah, it's the little things guys it's the little things i was so happy about this box and i know i got it from my sister in law and my brother and um they already said that we wanted to gift you the box it's not about the soap that comes with it just the box <laughs> and i was so happy okay um next one this is the tarot of the absurd and it's another one that i love to pieces i actually love the box <laughs> box you cannot even say that it's a box this thingy it, it came with <laughs> i love that um so i did not make a box for it i edged it black because i felt like it needed to be edged and it's just oh goodness this deck it's so I don't know it's so quirky but yet it's so it's so beautiful and it's so um i don't know it's so it's something new <laughs> it really is something new and unique and um she had um the creator is uh, jessica rose shannon and she had a couple of very very unique perspectives on the cards so um, this is quite interesting and she has, there is no book that, that comes with it, but um, on her website she has a blog with blog posts to, um, to this deck actually and it's quite interesting to read that. So I love it and again this deck has the most quirky, like a, a very, very lovely dark sense of humor actually. Love it. I just love this deck. Okay, next one. Um, let's go with this. This is the Tarot Everywhere that I keep together with the Oracle Everywhere. And it's by Over the Moon Oracle Cards. I think OTM Oracle Cards is her um, handle on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she just... Uh, Kristen is... She... she publishes so many phenomenal decks but these are the two that i got and i love them to pieces it's just um photographs that she um kind of paired up with the meaning of the card and it's just stunning it is so very clear probably because it's something that we really know like these pictures are in, are from everyday life it's not it's nothing very spectacular or very outstanding or um, it's just something we all know. And I think this is why it's so easy to read with this deck. I love it. I love it. I love the size as well um, of the cards. So it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous deck. I still love it. I loved it from the beginning. I still do. I also love the Oracle deck, but that's a whole different story and a whole different video right next one is another one that i have yet to really work with i did a couple readings with that and i think there's a lot of potential in this deck as well there are some cards stuck in there um it's the starlight dragon tarot um and there's one thing that i really like it came like isn't it beautiful came edged like this um so it has these kind of stylized dragons um on the back where's the deck there it is <laughs> i was like what this is weird um so it has the kind of still stylized dragons in the cards themselves all kinds of different dragon types um, sometimes it's just dragon eyes, so it's very, um, it's kind of unique. But what I like about it actually is the way that you 
um, read with it, it would be like that. So you have the possibility of this one's no, actually it isn't. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to pull it, what, which way is the right way up. But um, this way you can uh, create these circles and so you can actually really see um, how the cards fit together immediately. So um, this is something nice to trace in a reading. I again haven't worked with it enough to really, really um, talk to you about this deck. Um, so I'll have to do that at one point or the other. But again, I said that so often today, so it will take some time to get to this deck as well. <laughs> it's just weird. I bought so many decks in 2017 and I knew, didn't use any of them. Um, but that's just the way it is. This is one of the decks that I got in 17 and I used in 2017. And I love, love, love it. Period. Um, it's the Healing Light Tarot um, by Christopher Butler. In the video um, where I talk about the decks that I used in 2017, I talk about this deck in length, so I'm not going to do this again. It's not necessarily necessarily like my favorite art style, although I love the colors, and for whatever reason, I kind of got used to this art, so now I really, really like it, actually. <laughs> so, um, which, is, which is weird, because I know in the beginning I was like, meh, mm, not sure about the art, though. <laughs> um, but now I really love it. I really, really love it. Um, and it's just phenomenal in readings. Again, I love the mandorla in it and what you can do with it. Um, it's beautiful in large readings. It's beautiful in, as one card pulls. It's just one of those decks. It's gorgeous. I love that it came borderless. I just, it's just, there is nothing negative to say about this deck at all. I think it's underrated. I think, um, I don't know why people shy away from it. Um, or as it seems, but it just it's I love it, period. It's one of my absolute favorites and one of the three decks that I used in 2017. Um we're almost done, almost done. Four more. Just four more decks. This is uh, another deck that I love and that I used, and um I think the very special thing about this deck, I make this box actually, um is <sighs> I kind of, I don't know, it kind of, um, it has, has this effect on me that makes me see myself with this deck when I'm old and white haired and all kind of crinkly and shaking and with um, arthritis on my fingers. Um, I don't know what it is, but this deck makes immediately this is the image that kind of pops up so it's kind of a deck that wants to grow old with me and i want to grow old with this deck um i love the major arcana especially with the path um i don't know for whatever reason uh, but i um separated the major arcana because probably i wanted to show someone the path i guess um other than that it's kind of pippish um but also those pips kind of tell a story in themselves and um the um, court cards are beautiful. I don't know what it is about this deck. I'm usually not drawn that much to um, Pip style decks. Usually I'm more of a scenic I, I lover. I love the scenic um, uh, suit car suits. Um, but I don't know. I love this deck just so much. Again, probably because it's just it has. It's very earthy. A very earthy deeply earthly rooted deck probably because um how she created the creator um, created these pictures on um i'm missing the word so she, she made like the underground is like clay and she made she made pieces of clay and um then drew on them so um, at least for the majors and I think for the court cards as well. I'm not 100% sure here. Not for the minors though because I probably it would have been like, would have taken too long and would have, so this is artificial. But um, again, it's just, I love it. It's chunky. It's impossible to shuffle, like to riffle shuffle in one go. So I usually make four piles out of it because even I cannot, uh, cannot like grab it with one hand. 
it's not possible simply it's not even possible to actually really shuffle with one hand i can only grab this much so i just it, it doesn't matter i just love this deck period so let's put this to the side so it's three more decks and these are more along the line of um something to have in your collection not necessarily decks to read with although i do no it's not really true this one is the only one that's actually in my collection um simply for the purpose of having it in my collection um my cat is lying to my right to my left and she's uh, lying on the the mouse pad you know of my computer so every once in a while there's something popping up on my desktop <laughs> so funny kind of disturbing but so funny still okay so um this is the solar busca and the reason why i don't read with it at least not now is that i simply don't understand it <laughs> i have to do a lot more research to kind of get to the heart of the matter because it differs a lot in structure um I don't, I, yeah, I think I, I simply have to read about it first because like this little booklet that comes with it is useless, like completely useless. Uh, so I think I would have to do some more research to actually be able to read with it. I know people do read with it, so I'm quite jealous because I can't. Um, I mean, it's easy for the miners because the miners are very much following the same or are similar to the structures we all know, but the majors are completely different. So, um, but then again, this is just, it's, it's so well done, I feel, at least for the price, because I know, of course, you can get a lot more reproductions that are um, of a different kind of quality, but then you will pay a lot more for it because this is just a just a low scarabio deck um of the um yeah they have this kind of series where they reproduct um decks so this is of those the series what is this here anima antica um so it's just i l really love the way it is done i cannot read with it right now <laughs> because again i will have to do a lot more research why don't i cannot get the deck in properly what happens here okay so now it's in um the next one is <sighs> the visconti sorza And I still love this. I still have to buy another version of it that I actually can use because this one is just too huge to use. I love it. I still want the version where, um, I think it's a Los Carabio version as well, or was it US Game Systems? I cannot remember. I have to do some research again. Um, because there is a ver version where you actually have kind of golden backgrounds. Like if you move it, it's actually golden. Um, I will do some research on it. So yeah, I rarely ever use this deck because it's just too big. It's just too big to shuffle or anything, but I'm still so happy that I have it in my collection. Um, and that I got it for the price that I got it because it was a bargain. But shh, don't tell anyone. Um, yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, I have a tarot deck that calls itself an oracle deck, although it isn't. Definitely, I can assure you, it's a tarot deck, but, well, um, the Shakespeare Oracle. <laughs> um, I actually haven't very much used this deck a lot. I did in the beginning, and I, for the first time ever, I got this one used as well. Again, I got a couple of decks that I got used um, in last year. I edged it, as you can tell. Um, and... Um, for the first time, um, I felt like getting a used deck with a lot of residual energy. Not necessarily bad energy, but it was just, um, I don't know, it didn't work for me at all. I couldn't read it at all, so I first cleansed it like crazy. And then I did a couple readings with it and it worked. What I love actually about it is um, the Shakespearean quotes on the cards. Oh, gorgeous. And the book that comes with it is amazing as well. Um, so yeah. And me being the Shakespearean nerd, not necessarily nerd, 
don't call me on that call, call me that because um i have read too few of his plays to actually call me a nerd <laughs> but um those that i read i loved um so it's just it's a gorgeous deck i love the way it looks i love the, the i just i actually love everything it's just gorgeous so um i love that they used like um shakespearean characters for um the court cards and the mages so again oh yeah um like it i like it haven't used it um enough um to really say anything about it but um i really like it so this is it i quickly gotta insert this little deck here because i simply forgot about it it hit somewhere because it's so tiny that it could it's the bohemian gothic it's the mini version um and it's just so beautiful look at this box oh my god i edged it silver as you can tell because why not I could and it looked great. I didn't trim it or anything. It just came like that. It is already tiny. Can you see? I got bitten by a little mosquito or something. A little fly, whatever. Um I just I wanna scratch it all the time. So um this is the Bohemian Gothic Mini and it is just so cute. <laughs> Uh, because it's so tiny and it's so beautiful and it does great readings. Here's Kelly's special friend. Um, I just love this deck. It came with an extra lover's card. Um, so I could choose which one I wanted to, to use. And it's just, uh, it's a great read. It's beautiful. It's atmospheric. So I love this one. And I love it in its mini version. I thought about getting maybe the like normal sized ones, but... I just love the mini one because it's so cute. So I had to insert this. So now back to the original video. We're done. I don't have a clue how many decks that were actually, but I know that I have actually, I think four. Yeah, four more decks coming um, this year that I pre-ordered last year already and which will be the Game of Thrones um, tarot. I have the Victorian Romantic. Um, that I already paid for, that I just need to get whenever it comes out. Um, I pre-ordered the Our Tarot, I think was the name, on Little Red Tarot, so on Beth's shop. And um, on the same, I ordered the Dark Days Tarot. Is that the right one, the square one, I think? Damn it, I'm so bad. I should have looked that up beforehand. So, but I know those four actually are coming my way. Um, I don't know when, whenever they come out, I guess. <laughs> whenever they are reprinted, I guess, or restocked. So um, I'm waiting for those. But other than that, I think I will have to take a little step back um, for a bit from buying decks. Although I always say that and then I end up buying them anyways. Um, but um, I feel like I first want to work with all those decks that I bought in 2017 that I actually did not work with yet. So um, this is something that I need to do. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it. I did not finish my tea. I hope you finished yours. I'll take a sip to you all. And, um, ooh, it's cold. <laughs> Yay to cold tea. Um, so I hope you finished your tea or your beer or whatever. And um, uh, yeah, that's it. I know this has been a long video or actually it has been four long videos. So it's almost, I don't know, two hours of me going through my collection. And I'm apologizing wholeheartedly <laughs> for taking up your time. <laughs> Although you could decide for yourself whether or not you wanted to watch the video, right? So um this is it. This is it from me. I just hope you're all having an awesome day, an awesome time, an awesome week, whatever, whenever you're watching this, just having a great time. And um, we'll see you soon. Bye.